Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. One of my previous videos had a great response. The link is in the description below. I showed you how you can become a multi-millionaire with an initial investment of $5,000 in the NASDAQ 100 index ETF QQQ and contribute just $100 every month. After 40 years, you are going to have more than $13 million. We assume that the average NASDAQ 100 return for the last 10 years was 17.77%. Moreover, if you just invest $5,000 with no additional contributions for 40 years, you will make more than $5 million. So by doing nothing for 40 years, you become a multimillionaire. Money just makes money, thanks to compounding. An unbelievable result. Analyzing my video, I found that I have more dislikes than likes. Since the viewers don't leave comments about why they dislike my video, I have to use artificial intelligence to figure out what is wrong. I used Google's AI assistant, Gemini. Here is what I see. Unrealistic claims. The video suggests that viewers can become millionaires with a very small investment and minimal effort. This is not realistic for most people. Investing involves risk, and there is no guaranteed way to make money. Overly promotional, the video focuses more on promoting the idea of investing in ETFs rather than providing viewers with accurate information about how to invest, how it could be improved, provide more balanced information, be more transparent, focus on education. Okay, let's do it. Let's find the worst case scenario. On March 1st, 2000, the QQQ reached an all-time high of $109. Then it went down, and it was fully recovered only on May 1st, 2015. What if you were so unlucky and invested on March 1st, 2000? There is a technique you can use to mitigate your losses. The averaging down strategy. Averaging down involves buying more shares of a stock that you already own when its price decreases. The goal is to lower your overall average cost per share by acquiring additional shares at a lower price. For example, if you initially bought 100 shares of a stock at $50 per share and the price later drops to $40, you could buy another 100 shares at $40. This would lower your average cost from $50 per share to $45 per share. The rationale behind averaging down is that if the stock eventually recovers, you can potentially make a larger profit, since your break-even point is lower due to the reduced average cost. However, it also increases your exposure to potential losses if the stock continues to decline. Looking at the QQQ chart, you continue to invest until the QQQ reaches its lowest point, so your average share price will be much lower than $109 something around $64. Averaging up strategy. Averaging up is the opposite strategy, where you buy additional shares of a stock you already own. When its price increases, this raises your overall average cost per share. For instance, if you initially bought 100 shares at $50, and the price later rises to $60, you could buy another 100 shares at $60. This would increase your average cost from $50 per share to $55 per share. The idea behind averaging up is to increase your position in a stock that is performing well and exhibiting an upward price momentum. If the stock continues rising, you can potentially amplify your gains. However, it also exposes you to greater losses if the stock price reverses course. You continue buying the QQQ shares after the lowest point of $20.65 has been reached. Now you know that it was the lowest point, but at that time, you didn't know that. From September 3, 2002, you started to make money until full recovery on May 1, 2015. You were not only fully recovered, you actually made money. Now we look at the chart with the current price. As you can see, even if you were unlucky, and purchase QQQ on March 1st, 2000, at $109. Now the QQQ is trading at $443. You have quadrupled your money. If you bought QQQ at the lowest point of $20.65, 
then you have more than a 20 times increase. Can you imagine that? Since the NASDAQ 100 is a relatively new index, and there is no data for a long period, let's look at one of the oldest indices. The Dow Jones Industrial Average. It was established on May 26, 1896, during its 128-year history. It has always recovered, and this pattern has never failed. The legendary investor Warren Buffett said, I never sell my shares if the stock price went down. Eventually, it will recover. So be patient like Warren Buffett, and you will never lose. I hope I have convinced you. Thank you for watching.